Respectfully, I have a few questions for climate strike activists. One, why aren't the top polluting countries targeted in the climate strike? A simple search and you could really figure out which rivers are polluting the most and which countries are polluting the most, but they're never targeted. Why are the top environmental activist cities in the United States, such as San Francisco and Los Angeles and New York, the dirtiest and most polluted cities in the United States? Also in California, the highest poverty rate, but celebrities have no problem getting on television and telling the rest of the country how to keep clean and help the lower and working class. Third question is, why is weather manipulation technology never talked about? It's mainstream news now. In Business Insider, they're talking about how China has the ability to manipulate weather. Popular Science and others pointed out the fact that Bill Gates went for a patent to manipulate hurricanes, and that type of technology goes all the way back decades ago and is even on government websites talking about attempts to manipulate the weather. So in all of these talks about man-made climate change and how we can affect the climate, why are they never talking about proven ways that we can actually affect the climate? Isn't that a little bit odd that they always just want to tax you, take your money, and tell you what you can and can't do? And my fourth question is, why does nobody ever point out that most of planet Earth is unexplored? Sounds like a crazy stat, but it's true. According to government websites and all over the place, most of the ocean is unexplored. If you do the math, most of planet earth is ocean so if most of the ocean is unexplored that means that most of earth is unexplored so the science can't be settled about a planet that you haven't discovered most of yet egotistical people like neil tyson go on podcasts and say well we think we know everything about the universe and so it's the collection of all the data that gives us the complete understanding what we think is a complete understanding of the universe so how can you know everything about the universe or think that you know everything about the universe when you don't even know most of your own home planet? So I grew up an environmentalist. I rushed to the theaters to see Al Gore's Inconvenient Truth as a kid, and I was disappointed that my parents and everybody else didn't care about this stuff. Now as an adult, much older, much wiser, and much more knowledgeable, I actually looked at the data. So let's look at it. This came from NASA under a year ago. There's a lot of snowfall you see on the map. Some places are freezing, some places are melting, but the sea level rise was wasn't rising like they said it was, or to be honest, like they've said for decades and decades in Time Magazine, in AP, They've been saying this stuff for literally 40, 50 years now. But in that article, they even admit not only is it not rising like they thought, but they only measure the coastlines of Antarctica and their best satellites can't even measure the snowfall. So the science isn't settled. They admit in their own article that their best science doesn't really track or measure everything. So here's what they call Greenland's fastest melting glacier, which is the Jacob Shavin Glacier, which is actually growing for the third year straight. This is directly out of a NASA government website. Remember when I showed you that map of Antarctica and how it's melting in some places and growing in some places? Well, recently they actually found an active volcano under the Antarctic ice sheet and had the gall to say, maybe that's why it's melting. Maybe not though, maybe it's climate change. Maybe it's not. Of course an active volcano is going to have an effect on ice, but they don't seem to want you to think that in the news. So they constantly just throw out pictures of polar bears and scream at you if you question the legitimate science that I'm saying now. They say, no, 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 go in the streets, march, give us your tax money, scream, cry, act like the world's gonna end. An active volcano. That's what they found, but they like to whisper that. There's a great video, I'm not gonna play it for time reasons, of the Weather Channel founder on CNN explaining how the percentage of scientists that they say the science is settled is a total political lie, how it's being funded, how he gets silenced as the founder of the Weather Channel, saying that the whole thing has absolutely been blown out of proportion and he's not a denier, he's a skeptic. And last but not least, here's Ethiopia planting 350 million trees in 12 hours. So if there's truly a carbon crisis in the air, that's literally what trees do and they spit out oxygen. And I'm questioning if activists who march in the streets, did you actually plant any trees or did you just make signs out of cardboard? wood and paper and then like many rallies that i've been to throw them in the middle of the street when there's no trash can to put them in and ignore the fact that the worst homelessness in the country is just a couple blocks away these are my questions for you so i'm in no way shape or form a science denier in fact that term is a propaganda term made up to cover up inconvenient science that they don't want to talk about science like how much of the earth is explored science like volcanoes science like the sun which is very bright, heats up our planet, and we pretty much have no control over, as far as we know. Science like how ice cycles possibly work. When the older generation was growing up, they told everybody there was gonna be an ice age, and then they switched it to global warming, and then they said it's just climate change, because they're not quite sure some places will get warmer, 
some places will get colder. And the truth is okay, we haven't explored the planet. We understand pollution is bad. That's why the environmental cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco, before they lecture the whole country, either talk to Africa or China as well, or clean up your own cities and your own streets. Nobody wants to hear the most polluted, most dirty place in the country. Tell everybody else how to be clean and protect the environment. So let's have a real conversation. Let's talk about cleaning the oceans. Let's talk about cleaning the water. Let's talk about cleaning the air. Let's talk about not destroying our planet. But in doing so, screaming, organizing, calling everybody who uses real science a science denier because they don't just march in the street like zombies whenever Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye tells them to, that's not a solution. And that's not science. And the science isn't settled on planet Earth. Science doesn't really settle. New creatures are being found every single day, new discoveries, new science, new artificial intelligence. So the left wing needs to realize just because you realize that oil companies are corrupt and they do lie, doesn't mean you're not getting lied to as well. Because if you really look at the data and you really use your brain, you actually are. You're being lied to, you're being used, and they're taking good energy and good ideas and getting you to do pretty much nothing to solve the problem. That's my thoughts, let me know yours. God bless you, thank you for watching and have a good day. Please like this page, subscribe, or don't. It doesn't really matter. Have a good one.